Hi, it's Ewan Elry here making Bonsai in Australia and in this video I'm going to be doing the first real steps at turning these two ficus benjaminas into bonsai. So I haven't done any significant work on them in the past and they've both been just growing in my yard um, getting large. So this one here you can see I've actually done a couple of just, just cuts off at some point, got rid of the leaders, which has resulted in a bit more kind of movement and taper in the trunk. Um, however, it's a fair bit smaller than this one here, where I've literally just get, let it grow. Um, and yeah, it's <laughs> it's quite hard. But with this one here, it's a lot larger, so I'll be able to kind of prune it back and get some quite significant taper. Yeah, it's going to be a lot further away from being in any kind of refinement stage. So I'll probably repot this one, put it back in this training pot. Um, this one here, oops. <laughs> um, this one here, on the other hand, uh, yeah, I'll have to just. Um, take it out of the pot and see where the root structure is going um, to see whether I'll put it into more of a bonsai pot. Before I do get into it with this one, um, because it is so large and definitely not going to be using all of this length in any of these branches, so just going to lock it off here just so it's easier for me to work with. And both of these have well and truly outgrown their pots. Uh, so this one here, yes, yeah, some quite significant roots had to, to lop off. Uh, and this one here has fully just split the pot. So um, yeah, well and truly time for me to be repotting. So it's, <laughs> it's actually, um, whatever root is down here is so large that it's actually pressing the pot out down here. Um, and I can't seem to actually pull it out of the pot, so unfortunately with this one I might actually need to uh, get rid of this pot. Okay, so yeah, you can see that there are a lot of really thick roots as is um, yeah, quite customary for ficus benjaminas when let to go unkempt. So I'm going to have to, yeah, really do some significant root pruning uh, to really try and get this back into, or get this into some kind of shape. So there's a few finer roots up near the, the surface there, so I'll definitely be trying to keep as many of those as possible. Yeah, as you can see, they're like this big giant sweet potato things. All right, so yeah, it went pretty, um, pretty severe there. Really just kind of pruning off all of those really thick ones. Um, there were a bunch of feeder roots that were kind of coming off bunch of them but yeah I don't uh, don't want all those big roots they really destroy any future kind of appeal for the for the trees so I'll prune all of those back and leave these little feeder roots that I've got uh, and hope that the tree can recover from that so I'm also going to want to get rid of a lot of the um, a lot of the significant kind of branch structure especially a lot of leaves from higher up because that will draw a lot of the bigger from this tree. Now I'm kind of even wondering as to whether I keep this larger part at all and whether I just cut that back to get some really good taper um, and then develop this as the leader. I think I might even do that or at least cut it back to cut it back to one of those little branches and then cut this back a bit shorter as well. So yeah, now it's really just really just a, a stump, but I'll see how this kind of develops um, as this grows out further in the future. So I'll just put this into a little training pot, and then in a year or two time, this might be the one <laughs> splitting the uh, splitting the pot. So nothing um, fancy with this whatsoever. It's really just pruning it back to. Um, what I know I can start to work with uh, and then yeah ultimately from here 
just giving myself options as it then grows out and establishes that better taper and ultimately a good bit of ramification. So put this to the side and start to work on this one. So take it out of the pot. Um, it's quite lopsided in here. It's a very different um, soil you can see in this as well. So I've got some of my old kind of bonsai mix uh, in the bottom. All of that part is raking away really easily. Let's just get rid of this. Uh, this is really thick moss on top. So you can see a bunch of a uh, layer of roots that has kind of formed <laughs> within the moss layer of moss itself, um, and that layer of roots seems to be above the. Um, and then a bari or surface root layer that I'd kind of originally planned, but um, I'm going to continue raking away just to see at what level I ultimately want my nabari to be at. So, yeah, it appears that the thickness of the trunk um, gets a fair bit thicker kind of below where these higher up roots are that we're growing out of the moss so get rid of all of these except for these big bulbous roots it's actually a decent kind of root structure so we've got quite a few kind of flared out roots here so I might actually just get rid of this one just coming out from a bit high up there's this big bulbous fruit that unfortunately has these um, nice little feeder roots kind of coming out of the end of it. Uh, might just cut it back completely. Um, yeah, and hopefully there'll be more kind of radial roots that kind of grow from where I've cut that back. And this big one that I cut back earlier, I'm going to just cut that back a little bit higher. Just so hopefully some radial roots come out there. So I'm quite liking the, um, the flare kind of at the front there. Um, don't get a lot of the movement or all of the movement in the trunk. Um, but it's still quite nice. So might look at kind of positioning it that way so I'll just cut this back because I know I'll be getting cutting it back quite short just so it's a little bit easier for me to now position this um, into the pot before I do the rest of the pruning. Alright so with this one I'm not putting it in the pot that um, you know uh, the pot that it's ultimately gonna go in but it's a little bit more established, so I'll put it into a slightly nicer pot than the other one. Ultimately, I'll be aiming to kind of, you know, use the, the flare and those roots um, and expose that so you can kind of see it. But for now, um, given I want to kind of, yeah, get those roots a lot more established uh, and keep them nice and healthy, I'm just going to cover off, cover all of that. Yeah, there's a different angle probably would be better for the overall movement, but you can still see a nice little bit of movement there. So um, I'll start that as the front. Just a bit of wire, just wiring down a couple of these branches. So yeah, just moved um, this branch here out so that it's kind of yeah moving outwards a little bit more rather than kind of out the straight out the back of the trunk there. It's this little tiny branch underneath which may end up be the, being the branch that I leave. And I'll just prune this back into profile a little bit more. And just bring this down a bit more as well.
I'll just prune this one back a little bit further, it has a little bit more taper, um, and I may end up just using this as the, um, the main branch there with time. And there's a few little kind of um, little small branches that I could try and wire into place, but they're a bit small for now, so I'll just leave all of these to grow. And in terms of the leader, just prune it back a little bit more. Uh, yeah, and I'll let this grow as the new leader. So really nothing special with these at all, really just pruning them back and starting to get them into a position where they'll develop over the next year or two as bonsai. So look, I hope you enjoyed this video or took something from it. If you have, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified with my future videos as I release them. But as always, thanks for your time today. Enjoy. Bye.